So I've been working on the monocle here and there, or working with rather. Um, I wanted a way to see what this thing was doing as you wrote code for it. Because right now you have to write the code in like a REPL, an online editor thing. And it's like line by line, which they have a paste mode, which helps. But um, yeah, th there will be like an editor, uh, or not editor, apparently it's a VS Code extension, but I'm not sure. But I'm working on an editor myself just for the challenge. Um, I have to take their Bluetooth JS file and integrate it into a, my own page. And then uh, I'll add the pixel picker thing, which I'll show in a minute. Uh, and then the live video here, which I gotta set up. Uh, I, I still have to figure that out. I've worked with that technology before, video streaming, but it was through a provider, um, Vonage. So it, it just worked, like you had a React library. But yeah, anyway, that's how it works. This thing takes, I don't know, this was like two hours, hour and a half. Can't remember how long this takes. But yeah, I wrote it all down in the repo. But what you can do... See, initially, I just wanted this to be able to record footage. So, I'll zoom in there too. <clears throat> yeah, on the monocle, the default display is just this uh, color palette thing. But yeah, so you type and then you can see it uh, and you can adjust Yeah, that's pretty, that's all right. I'll try and type something real quick. Hex for white there. Typing with one hand, that's why this is so slow. Display, show. What just happened? Oh no. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you can see it there now. <laughs> the text is very clear. Like, uh, if you focus on it. So you can see the pixels. That's how good it is. So, and, you know, you would record this, and then when you're, like, programming for a video or whatever, you can show the screen changing clear. But uh, what I want to do is stream it. You go on a website with the phone, it streams its camera footage to another website, which is an editor. So I'll show that. Um, and it's just a like custom project, you know, I'm not building it for uh, Monocle because they have their own plans and the code I write is like not good. If it's, you know, if it's personal code, not like job code, I don't do like rigorous testing or anything. Cause I just want to build, you know, I like to have fun, make things. But if you're gonna make something open source and other people use it, it should be good. Anyway. Okay, so the way you write code to this thing right now, or one of the ways, main way, I don't know. <clears throat> connect to your monocle with this disconnected so refresh enter find it pair connect uh, and then the things the color palette thing is shown you can write text actually here let me uh, let me show something else. So, <clears throat> I was working on this like meme thing. Uh, unfortunately, 
they explained to me that the uh, the way the circuit is done, like the MCU goes through the FPGA to the display, so there's lag until they fix that, like change it. Anyway, the point is, I was trying to like write this text. Um, let me show something else. I can rebel. <clears throat> so I'm on here. I write the code and test it there to make sure it works. And then you come here, little paste mode, paste, uh, and then oh yeah, D run. And then you can see in the capture down here that it's working. I the issue is like. You can't make this go faster. Like I was adding zero 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 zero. Like it was not getting faster. And apparently that's that was the reason why. Actually, let me let me do this. Oh, sorry, I can't do it. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit the OG. So that's pretty cool. But the thing, the other thing I was trying to show is this thing I made. Cute. Isn't it crazy? Like, all right, this thing's uh, 640 by 400 pixels. And I was like, okay, I'll just make uh, two loops and append, you know, half a million or no, quarter of a million divs to the page. And that just like froze the entire, you know, page tab. Apparently that's a bad idea, so looked around and MDN had this pixel data manipulator thing. Let me pull it up. Yeah, this. So I just took this code and modified it uh, so I could do it here. And initially I was trying to save the image and you're like, okay, you click. Oh, what the heck just happened? Oh yeah, it does this snapping thing like every 10 pixels. <clears throat> There's like minimum sizes in the drawing library, but yeah, so <clears throat> this is a pain in the ass way to draw. Sorry, I'm swearing, but <clears throat> ideally you would have like shapes, you know, you want a box, drag a box in, but you gotta like program that, like abstraction and all that. It can be then, I just haven't. Oh, yeah, the thing I was trying to say is like. I was trying to save all the pixels, like this is a 10 by 10 square, it would have 10 by 10 RGBA or whatever, but I could not get it to repaint the image, it was always like uh, black or gray, and I think it means like it's out of range or like it's not on the canvas, there was a note somewhere in here, I forget where. Anyway, but yeah, so the simplest way is I just grab one of the colors and use it. I mean, it works, you know, you can barely tell, but here's one that would, oh, there you can see that one. But yeah, anyway, the point is you draw a thing and then generate produces this code. Uh, and you just copy it. I'm shaking my leg, that's why the freaking monocle's moving. Clear, control E, paste, D. Oh, yeah, it's there. Ah, oh, I should use a different color. Dang. Oh, I gotta re click them all. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. Is it gonna clear? No. <laughs> Is we're using the wrong image? Oh my god. Ooh. Let me just make sure. What is that? One, two, three. That's what should happen. It's like caching it somehow. One, two, Three? Three. There you go. Zero, zero, eight, zero. Okay. Come on. One. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, what can I draw? What's. Oh, well. This is the simplest thing, a smiley. I drew a Mario uh, pixel art, but right now there's a 50 cap on the library, and my 
algorithm scans left to right or not left to right it does go left to right and then top bottom but it's a basic horizontal grouper and it's it's a piece of crap is what I'm saying but um if you group the pixels then you can use less objects but they're gonna bump that up so you can draw more stuff run You have to enter. Ah, oh, it's there, but it's hard to see. I completely forgot about this. I can just put my hand in front, and then you can see it. Yeah, that reflection is like if you look at it upwards, you'll see. But you know, if you look at it the way your eye would. That's why this stand is adjustable, like the pitch, and the height, and everything. I had to print the stand a couple times because, uh, twice, because, uh, this phone has three cameras that are stacked vertically, and the macro camera is not the same as the video camera. Anyway, yep, there you go. Ah, uh, green is also not a good color. It's too, uh, the pixels are too small. You gotta do, like, 50. That's the size of the font, 50. Anyway, yeah, that's what this is about. So what I'm trying to do is bring that video stream into here, which, yeah, you could say it's pointless. Like, you've got this editor thing that will show you what it'll look like. The other thing I want, too, is uh, code snippet saving. You write something and you store it over here, keep it. But yeah, that's what I've been working on. Um, the thing I have to make, other than that, is a phone app that uh, can do this stuff. Like after you program and store it, then it'll send these commands into the. That's how it is until they release the flash storage stuff. I don't know when that'll be, but yeah. Just something to do, something to work on as I exist.